Vaninfest 2, Disconnected from Babylon, another liberating experience. The first realm, the Servile Society, is a grand deception hell-bent on convincing individuals to give up their free will, freedom, and ultimately their lives. Undergirding it is a culture of disempowerment, dependence, coercion, and as per the nature of Biblical Babylon, total and utter confusion. On the contrary, the second realm is the parallel society already in existence, built sturdily upon a foundation of peace, freedom, voluntarism, and truth. This network to me and others within it is the Pazdian network, the first free country in existence. Yet the sphere public is geographically independent, with nodes scattered far and wide across the world, providing safe haven and access to necessary goods and services without the requirement of experimental gene therapy or otherwise subjugation before those who falsely imagine themselves to be your rulers. Connecting these disparate pockets of freedom is what I call the Pazian Department of Transportation, or more generically, a decentralized logistics and transportation network. These proxy merchants will transport pickles, Pazdians, redacted, critical information and knowledge, and whatever else needs transporting. And while we're still early on in things like the Pasnia DOT or ideas in the works, lots of progress is already being made in this direction and the overall network formed. One such progression is the recently concluded Vanu Fest 2, our now week-long festival of liberation here at the Free Republic. In line with security culture principles set forth by the Pasnia Department of Freedom, not everything will be covered, but here are some highlights from Vanu Fest 2. Information on getting vetted and invited will be below. Food self-sufficiency. Lambs, chickens, and mushrooms. Self-liberators started to arrive the Sunday before the event began to help set up and to be there to assist with our first liberation activity, lamb processing. Aura and I processed Freddy too, the first sheep I bought last year, some 17 months ago, and we processed Silas Soul's mail that we had been raising for him. The second and third sheep went even quicker and smoother than the first one, and now we have a freezer full of delicious meat and organs. Next year, we'd like to begin outwardly selling meat and raising lambs for nomads and stakeholders following the building of the new woven wire fence and the expansion of the herd. But for right now, this is another great step towards our goal of food self-sufficiency. Not in chronological order, but along the same theme, we, we also processed three chickens. Again, the second, third, and fourth birds were far easier and smoother than the first duck we processed just a few months back. And later that day, we roasted the fresh birds in the oven as the main course for a delicious stakeholder dinner. Finally, to conclude this first portion on food self-sufficiency, we took some time on the last day of the fest to do some mushroom hunting nearby. Of course, time in the wilderness is pure bliss, but we were able to find some more turkey tails, as well as some fresh, perfectly harvested honey mushrooms. Not only will they taste incredible in dishes this week, but the health benefits are noteworthy. And big thanks to Phoenix Aurora for his help on the main garden zone. We had some issues with moles and voles, and he took some time digging and replacing the chicken fencing. We're extremely appreciative of his assistance, as well as his incredible Vanufest-themed artwork, which can be viewed at the website vanupodcast.com. The Pasnia Mint The first founding stakeholder membership was going to include custom Pasnia-themed silver coins, pictured below. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, due to the state of the world and the financial markets at that time, that project had to be backburnered. Thankfully, a fellow Pasnian now has the equipment and know-how to pull something like this off, and even more expansively and affordably than I previously envisioned. I suppose this calls for the formal announcement of the creation of the Pasnia Mint. Exciting. A unique taste, stakeholder meals. In addition to the fresh, organically raised chicken above, we offered numerous stakeholder meals throughout the event. Stakeholders and Vanifest attendees got a taste of the food raised here at Veritas and our focus and commitment to the highest quality animal products and garden stuffs. You see, in my view, cooking for others is one of the greatest expressions of love. And cooking with love includes high resonance ingredients, not miserable feedlot animals, and shitty genetically altered man-made foods. Reason being, the food we consume will literally become a part of us, providing vital building blocks for new tissue to form, as well as essential nutrients for healing, detoxification, and repair. This is one major reason these stakeholder meals exist. Quote, it is a well-known physiological fact that the blood is the basic material of which the human body is continually builded. As is the blood, so is the body. As is the body, so is the brain. As is the brain, so is the quality of thought. As man is builded, so thinks he. End quote. And that's from Dr. George W. Carey's The Wonders of the Human Body. Other meals we offered were keto pizza, using fresh eggs and cheeses to the crust, racks of lamb ribs, a local guinea pork sausage scramble for breakfast, 
and the unplanned meal to conclude the event, uh, freshly ground lamb burgers with pickles canned by Aura. Future gatherings, Dab's giving. Well, Vani Fest is our big gathering of the year. Uh, we do organize other events here at the Free Republic. One such occasion was Thanksgiving of last year, now deemed Dab's giving. The tentative dates being Wednesday, November 24th to Monday, November 29th, uh, 2021. We'll process and roast a couple fresh heritage turkeys from the Pasnia bird shanty, uh, possibly begin the Pasnia mushroom farm, and uh, we might even process another lamb or two if it all works out. Uh, it'll be another fantastic event of liberation and gratitude for our pockets of freedom. Get vetted and invited. Due to the nature of the Serval Society, all visitors to Pasnia must be vetted. This must either be a personal invite from me or Aura, or we will try to find a colleague we know in common that would be willing to vouch for your character and reputation. A digital connection is highly plausible. We aren't so much worried about state infiltrators, but more so bullshitters and otherwise individuals who wouldn't be good fits for what we're building here. We're still coming up with these specific protocols, but for right now, if you're interested in coming to VaniFest 3, we're planning a tourist venture to the free public. One, join our Pasnia Committee of Correspondence community telegram chat and drop a brief introduction uh, how you found us, your liberated lifestyle, uh, interest within the liberation sphere, etc. Two, check out the website pasnia.com for more information on what we're building, as well as to find the 2021 2022 stakeholder bulletin. Uh, or three, build your reputation by engaging with the above uh, committee of correspondence, and you may just get an invite. Otherwise, Aura and I are happy to meet potential interested self-liberators off property, whether at a designated meeting spot or, say, the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest. In summation, in my humble opinion, Rayo put it best, quote, In the real world, liberty will be limited for a long time to come to self-liberated individuals and perhaps libertarian mini-cultures and free ports. But this is not grounds for pessimism or defeatism. One can forget about the herd and become free, once he exercises the collectivist spooks from his head, end quote. And while liberty does appear to be limited for the time being, and even apparently severely hindered in the first realm, these Pasnias, these second realms, can serve as a beacon of hope, light, and inspiration for those looking for another way out. But don't forget to think bigger, get creative, and always remember, Vanu is yours for the making, and the second realm is yours for the building. A closing note to current and future stakeholders. Thank you so much for being here, uh, as well as your contributions to the Second Realm and to the Pasnian Network. Uh, we're honored and excited to see what we can build together. Long live the Free Republic. You've just heard Vani Fest 2, Disconnected from Babylon, another liberating experience. Uh, the full article of which can be found at vaniapodcast.com forward slash 117. Again, vaniapodcast.com forward slash 117.